Get ready to look into what Tesla's future car line could mean with the Tesla Bull in this video. Dave Lee talks about the possibility of Tesla releasing a whole new line of vehicles that would make Tesla the undisputed king of both electric and traditional automakers. In particular, Lee says that Tesla could release a fully electric van, which would have a big effect on the market. There are many good reasons for Tesla's 4A to get into the van market, such as the huge size of the market and the company's readiness to take on the task. However, Tesla hasn't given any specifics about how the van is being made. This video is a must-see for any Tesla fan because Lee is so excited about the company's future cars. And the button to subscribe. Now that that's out of the way. Let's start the movie. Tesla Bull Dave Lee. Tesla Bull has some exciting ideas about what Tesla's next line of cars will be like. He thinks that a whole new line of cars is coming out soon that will shake the market like never before, making Tesla the undisputed king of both electric and traditional automakers. Dave Lee thinks that a fully electric van could be coming soon from Tesla. He thinks that a new electric van could be announced in the next few months and that it would have a big effect on the market. The van market is already pretty competitive with Ford, Mercedes-Benz, and Volkswagen making a lot of different models for business and personal use. However, the electric van market is still very new with only a few options available right now. If Tesla got into the electric van market, it would be a big deal because they have a history of shaking up industries they get into. The vans that Dave Lee thinks Tesla might make could make them the market leader in both the electric and legacy van markets compared to other companies. Tesla has a unique approach to electric vehicles. They put innovation and sustainability first, which has helped them stand out from their competitors. Other companies have been slower to adopt electric vehicle technology, and some are only just starting to work on their own electric van models. However, Tesla's current supply chain and production problems make it unclear whether they will be able to keep their potential van promises. Still, if Tesla can successfully make and sell a high-quality electric van, they will likely become a major player in the van market and help speed up the move to environmentally friendly transportation even more. Let's find out what else is going on with this project during Tesla's Q1 2021 earnings call. There is no doubt in Elon Musk's mind that Tesla will eventually make an electric van. The Tesla van is currently somewhere in his mind and it's only a matter of time before we hear the news. Dave Lee supports this claim by giving strong reasons why Tesla could release the event soon. One reason why Dave Lee gives. Tesla van is the size of the van market, which is very big and includes not only passenger vans, but also transport and commercial vans that are used in a lot of different fields. The light commercial vehicle market sells 18 to 20 million vehicles each year, with Mercedes-Benz alone selling 400,000 vans each year. Dave Lee thinks that Tesla could easily sell two to three times that number. Dave also thinks that Tesla is ready to take on the van market with a prototype already in the design and engineering process and even a mention of the van in Tesla's recent Investor Day presentation. Tesla would be better off if they released a van sooner rather than later, since there isn't already a vehicle for the Osborne Tesla van. If Tesla released a cheaper, smaller vehicle like the rumored $25,000 car too soon, it might make some potential buyers wait to buy a Model 3 or Model Y. With no such worry, there would be no such concern. Dave thinks Tesla could reveal the car whenever they're ready. Watch this movie. You might be interested in Tesla's secret plan. One part of it said that electric cars would need high-density urban transportation to help them grow. Elon Musk has been thinking about making a Tesla van for a few years now. It might be built on the Cybertruck chassis or be made for construction companies that want to use more eco-friendly methods. We're sorry to say that Tesla does not currently make an electric van and has not provided any concrete information about its growth while switching from my vehicles to high capacity transportation. The electric is definitely a long-term goal for the company. The Cybertruck and Simi are currently more important than the possible Tesla van project if there is one. Still, Elon Musk has talked about Tesla Sprinter vans, Robovans, and high capacity battery vehicles on Twitter. Several model names have been offered for Tesla's van project, such as Tesla Van, Tesla Minibus, and Tesla Robovan. Bottle B for the Tesla Model V, the Tesla Computer Van, and the Tesla Minivan. Let's talk about how far the Tesla car might go. High-capacity electric vehicle competitors offer models with ranges of about 125 to 200 miles, but Tesla may want a longer range of 200 to 200 to 250 miles or more, However, a longer range requires a bigger battery, which could be a problem for Tesla because of current supply shortages in the industry. If the Tesla van is built on the Cybertruck taxes, as previously estimated, the van could have a battery pack ranging from 100 kilowatt hours to 200 kilowatt hours. And making such a large amount of extra battery power could be hard in a market that is already struggling to find safe battery materials. Tesla currently prefers lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries for its vehicles because they are cost-effective and energy efficient. However, 
a Tesla cargo van designed to transport goods rather than people, like a Tesla minibus, may need a lighter battery with a higher energy density, which means using a battery technology that includes some cobalt. GM's Ultium battery packs use a nickel cobalt manganese aluminum design to make cars with similar power needs to the possible Tesla van, no matter what the battery parts are made of. Creating a Tesla van could be a big step forward for environmentally friendly transportation, and we can't wait to hear any updates from Tesla on this exciting idea. As I said before, GM has created its ultimate battery packs with a nickel cobalt manganese aluminum design that offers high energy density and power capability. This is similar to Tesla's approach with their battery packs, which all use nickel-based cathodes for increased energy density for using similar battery technology. GM and Tesla might be able to make electric cars with batteries that are about the same size. Tesla's development of an electric van could really be a game changer for sustainable transportation, especially in the commercial sector. Vans are often used for delivery services and switching to electric vans could greatly reduce emissions and help make the environment cleaner. Also, Tesla has a history of shaking up industries with its innovative products and the company's entry into the van market could bring about new technological advances in competition. It's important to note, however, that Rivian and Ford are also entering the electric van market. Amazon has already ordered Rivian's electric delivery van and Ford has said it will make an electric version of its transit van. So while Tesla's entry into the market would be big, they'll have to deal with competition from both established automakers and new companies, while there has been talk about. Whether Tesla will make an electric van that can fit a nomadic lifestyle, it's not their top priority. Instead, they're more likely to make a Tesla work van or high capacity passenger van if the van is designed as a work van. Ford and Mercedes-Benz are Tesla's main rivals, so the company will have to make it cheaper than theirs. It can hold up to 15 people or 400 feet of cargo. The Tesla van is likely to cost between $55,000 and $80,000, but people could make changes to it themselves. The inside of the Tesla van will likely look like other electric cars that are already on the market. The largest amount of weight that can be carried will depend on which battery Tesla chooses for this type. Tesla is currently focusing on making its driverless truck and semi models. This means that any plans to make a Tesla van probably won't happen before 2025. Chevrolet and GMC are both planning to release electric versions of their vans in 2025, so it wouldn't be surprising if Tesla announced an electric van even sooner. Of course, this depends on all manufacturers being able to get enough battery materials to make large-scale production of the electric vans possible. If you're looking for a Tesla with a slightly higher passenger capacity than traditional sedans, your luck Tesla offers two CVs that can accommodate more than five passengers, the Model Y, which comes in a seven-seat or configuration, and the Model X, which can be configured for either six or seven seats. However, the extra seating does come at a cost with the seven-seater Model X costing an additional $3,500 and the six-seater carrying a price. Tag that is $6,500 higher. Meanwhile, the seven-seater Model Y costs an additional $4,000, though you may be eligible for the federal tax EV credit to help offset costs. If you're looking for a more affordable option to get your hands on a higher capacity Tesla, you may want to consider. Buying a used one overall Tesla is not resting on its laurels. The company is innovating relentlessly at lower costs and increased volume while pursuing new markets and vehicle segments. Dave Lee is excited to see what Tesla will bring to the table in the next few years, and I am too. The Tesla van could be great at runs on electricity like a Tesla and can use the supercharging network. Also, the full self-driving software will probably be much better by the time Advantage comes out, which is a bonus. Dave talked to the same Tesla executive about last mile delivery using Optimus to deliver packages from a Tesla van, and the executive confirmed that the company is looking into a lot of different creative ideas. That's all for now. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.